Hi. Uh, I'm uh, continuing to uh, share with you about uh, my favorite scripture, which is 1 John 4:19, uh, which says, We love him, God, because he first loved us. And uh, this scripture, this, this one verse has just revolutionized my life. That happened years ago, but it revolutionized my life, my ministry, my relationship with God, and my understanding of the Bible. It's an amazing, amazing thing. Uh, there's several concepts that I want to share with you. So here's, uh, here's the next concept, which is that uh, if God loves us first and then we love because of that, what we need to do uh, as believers in Jesus is we need to learn to receive God's love. And that may sound too easy, but it's actually not. Because uh, we remember that we were born and raised in a very broken world where uh, a lot of the people of this world are disconnected from God, don't know God, and uh, we're living not on the original flow of love, but we're living on kind of the, uh, the leftovers of love or the, the shadows of love. This world really isn't rich in love. This world has a love deficit. There's a shortage of love in this world and in people's hearts. And so uh, people sin and people hurt each other, people betray each other, people abuse, accuse, and mistreat each other. They break promises. Uh, there's all kinds of sin in this world, and when you grow up in this broken world, what uh, inevitably happens is that you get hurt in some way, somehow, people get hurt. And you've been hurt, maybe in a small way, maybe in a very big, big way, uh, but we've all been hurt. And so we also tend then to, uh, in response to, to hurt, we tend to kind of build a wall of protection around our heart. We just... We may or may not do it consciously, or we may, but usually it's more unconscious, and we kind of just put up a wall of protection around our heart, and then we say, I'm going to protect myself, I'm going to, I'm going to keep people at you know, arm's length or more, and uh, I'm going to protect my heart from being hurt again. Uh, we do this again fairly unconsciously, but we do. And so uh, when God comes to, into our life to love us, we invite God into our life to love us, it's still difficult for us to actually let down sort of the wall of protection from our heart um, and open our heart. We've closed the doors, closed the windows, you know, out, out of fear usually and uh, uh, fear of being hurt again. So we have to learn to open our heart first of all to God and really truly let him love us. Uh, uh, one time God gave me a picture of uh, somebody standing in the rain that really wanted water thirsty for water, thirsty for the refreshing. They're, but they're standing in the rain, but they were holding an umbrella over their head, wondering why the water wasn't getting to them. And that's kind of a picture of what we do sometimes. We want God's love. We want love. But we don't um, open our hearts and receive. We don't take down our wall to receive. So we have to learn to actually say to God on purpose, God, I, I want to receive your love. I'm, I'm, I need your love. I acknowledge that I need your love. I acknowledge that I want your love. And I'm taking down my walls. I'm taking down my, my uh, pr you know, uh, fences of protection around my heart. And I'm asking you, God, to, to pour your love into my heart. Uh, another picture one time God gave me was the idea that our heart is like a sponge. And uh, when we've been kind of separated from love or, or our love tank is kind of empty, our, our, our heart is like a dry sponge. And a sponge was designed for water. It doesn't work without water. It doesn't do anything without water. But our heart is just like that. It's like a dry sponge needing the love of God in order to function. And so what we do is we take our heart and we say, God, here's my heart, kind of like a dry sponge. Please, God, pour your love into my heart, and I, I open my heart to receive your love. And, uh, and I'm not going to try to perform for your love. I'm not going to try to qualify for your love or deserve your love. I can't do any of those things. Jesus did that for me. What Jesus did on the cross with his shed blood and his death on the cross absolutely paid for my sins and, and makes you and me, if we believe in him, it makes us justified, clean, and righteous before God. I don't have to try to qualify for God's love, earn God's love, or deserve God's love. I don't have to perform for God's love. What God actually wants me to do is, uh, like a child, open my heart and accept his love or receive his love. And so when, when, uh, when we learn to do that, and I learned to do that, uh, when we learn to do that, God literally, by his grace, pours his love into our hearts and fills our hearts, and, uh, and amazing things happen, and it's all by his grace. Uh, this is not religion. This is a relationship with someone who loves you. So maybe pray this prayer today. Say, Father, 
In Jesus' name, I open my heart to receive your love. I take down the walls of protection from around my heart. God, you I will trust. Father God, love me. Pour your love into my heart right now. Here's my heart like a dry sponge. Fill it with your love. And uh, let me go out from your presence then, God, and, and pour your love over all the people around me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.